All right, so we're back in action. We're back at it, and I think it's time to talk about what's going on in Raid. Uh, a little bit overdue. I, I didn't pay a lot of attention over my break, as I've said before, but I'm aware. I knew about the Titan event going into my break, and I can't be bothered to go grab the clip, but I did say in, a, in one of my last couple of videos before I stopped making videos for a little bit that... They made a whole cinematic trailer for the for the Titan event on their Facebook. They made this whole cinematic teaser and they built that up to be this thing. And I said at one point, it would be it'd be really odd to make a whole deal out of this and then then it'd be nothing. It would be very strange to go to the effort and and put the budget toward making a cinematic trailer for this thing for it to literally be nothing. They hyped it up like it was going to be a new playable game mode. Honestly, that's the way they talked about it. Um, they had Ursaga fighting this big beast, and it was—it sounded like it was an event that involved some gameplay and some some new stuff. And instead, it's literally the same events as always, uh, with a slightly different UI. It's just—it looks a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's, it's, there's no real innovation. It's not really even good. There's there's not really any value in it. Um, I think it takes three months to do the entire thing, and the the last the final drops. I, I have on a very regular occasion gotten more value in my clan boss drops in a single day than you're going to get from this event for the entire three months that it goes on, and that's pathetic. And it's pathetic. <laughs> it's just pathetic is all it is uh, they they're they're either they're either so out of touch that there's no hope or this isn't intentional they're either trying and they're so out of touch they'll never figure it out or they're just intentionally making bad shit for some experimental reason or they're amused by it or something I don't know but there's no way. I feel like there's no way this is genuine effort. Um, it's... It's somehow a little bit surprising. I thought it would be a little bit better than this. I thought it would be a little more than this. At least with the third anniversary, we got pictures of cake. This one, we don't even get that. It's literally just fours. There's just fours in the game now. <laughs> I actually um, did a little digging and I found some actual leaked footage from Plarium of them creating the, the Titan event in the fourth anniversary. I'll show you that. I'll show you that now. That's pretty crazy to get to see like behind the scenes how the sausage is made, so to speak. Uh, I, I kind of always speculated that's how it, that's how it happened. But it's kind of interesting to see see it actually taking place live. You know what I mean? Like actual footage of them coming up with stuff and putting it in the game. Uh, it's just bad. And part of what I talked about in my video recently is that I think I've, I've hit a point of like full acceptance. There's been a small part of me I th this whole time that's kind of been hanging on to this idea that at some point something's gonna click. They're gonna they're gonna make enough money, or they're gonna hit whatever goal it is they're trying to hit, or they're they're gonna realize the new player market is drying up. There's gonna be something that would that would pit, cause a pivot, and they would actually start to truly invest in the game and making it good and treating the players the way that a player base should be treated. Uh, I, I kind of thought we would hit that point eventually. Because this type of behavior is just not sustainable with a game developer. But I, maybe they're maybe they're out to prove that wrong. I don't know. But I think I've kind of had a full acceptance at this point that it's not going to happen. They're not. Again, they're they're either completely not interested in making things better, or they are just so incompetent that it'll ne that it'll never happen under the current. Uh, you know, leadership or ownership or whatever you want to call it. Because there is just no way someone made this fourth anniversary event and this Titan event 
and finished it and had it be a completed thing and looked at it before they released it to the players and thought, we've nailed it. This is good. This is great. They're going to love this. There's just no way that four years in, you don't have a better idea of what's going to be good. There's just literally no way with your player base screaming at you for four years that they hate most of what you're doing. And a mobile game audience is tough. I think a game audience in general is tough anyway. You're never going to please everybody. But clearly, you can you can have a, a mostly happy player base. The most closely related comparison right now is Eternal Evolution. There's so little complaining going on in that community right now. There was a little bit early on because we had a lot of people come over from Raid who were so frustrated with Raid that they were just ready to be frustrated. Um, but that's even died down. There is so little negativity going on in the Eternal Evolution community right now. They are just doing so much right. Um, but you look at you know, there, there's some other big ticket games. There's big ticket games that are doing it wrong and have had hor horrible reputations. Madden, for example, the, the, whoever's making the decisions behind Madden um, has just killed it. I mean, they're still going to be fine because as far as I understand, I think EA has the monopoly for NFL games, so no one else can make NFL games. I don't know if that's ended yet or if that's coming to an end, but I know for a long time they were the only ones that could do it, so they don't have to try anymore. You know what I mean? They don't have to try. So Madden has really not had not made any progress since like Madden 16. You know, and it, it's 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 kind of a bummer. Like maybe even before that, it's just it's the same game every year with slightly updated graphics and then recycling old features as they're new. And there's a lot of games that do this shit, but there's games that have good healthy relationships with their players too. You know what I mean? I know Elden Ring is, is very well received. It's got the God of War series. No Man's Sky, which was off to an incredibly awful start, is now fantastic. And I think most of the players that actually play the game now are pretty happy with it. I think a similar thing can be said for Fallout 76. You can recover from what seems like an unrecoverable place. You know what I mean? No Man's Sky, the fact that No Man's Sky is still here and doing well is mind blowing. So it can be done. But I just, nothing I've seen from Playerium makes me <laughs> believe they can do it at this point. So, um, I don't know. It'll, it's, it's, it'll be interesting to watch. It'll be, it, it'll be interesting to see, to, to see where this ultimately ends up. Because I'm kind of surprised we're here. I'm kind of surprised that it's still the name that it is four years in. They've made some some surprising decisions, I think, to keep themselves relevant. You know, the partnership with Ronda Rousey was a big one. The partnership with Ninja was an interesting one. It was, it was kind of a big one. The other one, I, I'm not real sure why they did it. <laughs> uh, simple, I think. No, no disrespect to him, but Ninja and Ronda Rousey just feel like they're on very different planes than, than, than Simple. We know they're still advertising pretty heavily. I still see them in a lot of the YouTubers I watch, you know, in, in the in the pre pre roll or sixty second ads. You know what I mean? So their 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 marketing budget's still very much present. They're still making a ton of money. They're still doing well. So there's something to the to their method, but it's very strange. It'll it'll never not be confusing how they're so successful. Because they really do just suck at this, man. They really do. And I, and then, I mean, from a player's standpoint, clearly from, from their side of it, they don't suck at this because they're making a ton of money and they're still pretty relevant. But from like a quality standpoint, from a player's opinion standpoint, from a quality standpoint, they just suck at this about as bad as anyone I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I think they're just real, real bad at this. Um, but what do I know? You know what I mean? They're they're making more money than I am, so whatever. But yeah, I guess I just you know I've, I've had a few few people like allude to being ready for me to talk about what's going on. There's just not much to talk about. It's fours. 
better than threes, I guess. Not quite as good as fives. So if you were, if you, if you're into fives, I got good news for you. You're only about a year away. You'll have more fives than you know what to do with. So I reckon that's it. I don't think there's much else to say. I think it's, I think it's a bummer, but I think I don't think I'm invested enough anymore to truly care. And that seems to be the sentiment. It's frustrating on principle that they're doing so well. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's really all I got to say about it. So let me know what you guys think about it. I know that they've teased the idea that, that the Titan event is not all that's going to go on. I, I guess they're going to upload some more fours into the game sometime between now and March. Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the Titan event is about all we're going to get. And it's not really much of an event at all. It just lasts for longer and we're used to them lasting. And it looks a little bit different. The UI is slightly more polished, I guess. Um, and there's avatars of the starter champs, which I'm sure everybody is just beside themselves with excitement over, so. No skins or anything, as far as I know. Seems like that would have been an easy one to put in some skins. I don't know. I'm, that's it. That's all I got. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Later, guys.